Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the channel. You're joining me mid-drive here, headed down the interstate here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Uh, got to roll through a pretty large rainstorm. So we're going to kind of look at FSD here in terms of how it's going to handle uh, driving through this. We're already kind of sitting here in traffic as we are making our way uh, down the interstate. So um, running FSD 13.2.9 still. Had uh, made a few videos like this before, wanted to just keep making them to kind of really test out FSD, especially as we're approaching uh, getting version 14 here uh, fairly soon, hopefully within the next month or two, according to Tesla and Elon Musk. But we're about to make it through the rain here. Hopefully no hell, but so kind of downpour rain and we're going to kind of see how this gets tested. Um, I've done videos like this before, but it was funny. I had a comment the other day on a video of somebody you know, uh, you know, driving through a really blue sky, sunny day, and they're like, you should make a video on it when it's raining or in weather. Well, I have. So if you go back through the channel, I have a lot of videos like that. Um, but here's another one for you. So just heavy rain, um, big cloud kind of was coming through here. So I left work, headed home. Um, so that's why I wanted to jump on and um, get this made to kind of see how this is working. So, oh, and here we go. There's one. Had to take over. So, real heavy. So, car had me take over. So, I took over the car. We're able to re engage FSD. Um, but we are driving through the thick of it right now. So and coming up on a lot of traffic, partly because it is raining pretty hard right here. So here we go. FSC, not really foolproof. I've, I've been through this type of rain before on this same stretch of road going down I-25 here in Colorado Springs that I don't have that usually happen often where I need to take over. But that tells you right there that the cameras on the Tesla uh, the camera, the FSD is using all the cameras on the Tesla, so we're probably having a hard time seeing um, through that. And I feel like I'm talking loud, but I'm also trying to talk over the pounding rain on the on the car. <laughs> but my microphone's probably picking me up fine, so I'm not 100 percent sure. So I had to disengage the FSD and re-engage it. Um, So stuff like that right there is probably going to be the biggest problem when we look at unsupervised full self-driving or even like the robo-taxi uh, time frame. Because if you're driving autonomously and if, let's say I'm not sitting in the front seat right here, um, what's going to happen as you make it, you know, if there's no driver, it tells me to take over immediately because obviously it's having issues seeing, um, seeing it right there. But we made it through it. So... Generally, it does a pretty good job, right? And we're back there in a little bit. But moments like that, I had to take over. They warned me, took over. Sometimes it won't let you re-engage FSC right away. That time it allowed me to do it. So then we'll keep going through this part of it. Let's see, but yeah, so version 14 is on the horizon. Um, like I said, still running 13.2.9 of full self-driving on my 2024 Tesla Model Y. Um, still going through the rain a little bit. We're going to probably hit a little bit more traffic here. Not just being cautious, putting my hand on the wheel in case I need to hit the brake and take over. Looks like we're probably rolling up on the tail end of this. So hopefully we missed the hell. I was on the phone with my wife before starting the video, going through some standing water. Um, and one of the telltale signs of storms and clouds is that when it's glowing almost like a turquoise bluish color or greenish bluish color, 
usually means hell. Um, and if you live in Colorado, you get used to seeing that as an indication that there's going to be hell in a storm. So luckily, it looks like we missed all that. We're breaking there, so that's why I'm... We can see pretty clear skies ahead of us, so I think we're about to be through a lot of this. Um, which is good. Oh, oh, see right here. That car up there. So FSD does a great job. That car, the car ahead of the car that's in front of me, probably slammed on its brakes, had to move over into the shoulder. That happens so much right here in this tiny little stretch right here. Um, where it's not like they're not looking ahead of them and then they you get a couple cars, they'll start slamming on their brakes and have to move off so they avoid a collision. But FSD saw that. So I didn't have to disengage on that for safety reasons or anything. But this right here is probably these types of situations, whether it's stuff like this, you know, weather like this, or if you're going to get like heavy snow as we approach winter, um, especially hopefully with we'll have version 14 by then, be able to test that out with, you know, snow and slick roads and those types of um, conditions. But that's what is going to have to get really refined, in my opinion, if you're going to have the fully autonomous driving. You know, and that's why even with robo taxi, it seems like where they're testing it, Places like Austin, I think you just saw this. Damn it, here we go. Oh my God, damn it. Yep, there we go, see? Yeah. I didn't disengage it though, so. Goodness gracious. Sorry if I'm cursing. That's me responding to. So again, they just slam on their brakes. But FSD did a good job, so good job. <laughs> Was able to correct for that. Now it wants to get over because who knows what's going on right here. But I don't think we're gonna be getting over. A lot of cars coming up on the on the right. Probably getting tired of slamming on the brakes, so it's like I'm gonna get over. So there you go. So readjusting for conditions, readjusting for traffic, and I'm but I'm gonna bet money it gets back over here in a second, but Apologies for the, the language there as we were stuffed into my back seat, like my son's little booster seat was flying everywhere as we were coming to a pretty hard stop there. But I think we've at least made it through the storm, so I'm sure we're now experiencing the after effects of it. Um, the people need to learn how to, so here's my, here's my take. Here's the opinion, right? When you have situations like that, obviously drivers that are not using something like a full self-driving type of feature or an autopilot, you know, type of feature in a car like this are not paying attention. And then the domino or the ripple effect that takes place when cars are not paying attention, um, is impactful. The FSD was able to handle it, so there you go. <laughs> We're going to stop the wipers, though. Sometimes the auto wipers don't do a good job. I'm going to count me how many times I've said that in videos at this point in terms of my displeasure with the auto wiper feature on a Tesla. But where we're at right now is really our typical traffic, but, you know, that we experience um, daily driving through this area because they're doing construction up ahead. Um, but I think we've made it through the, the crux of the storm.
but hopefully we're going to see version 14 pretty soon. Um, looking at the state of Tesla, where they're at, you know, a lot of hints, not hints, but a lot of posts that are coming out about it. Elon Musk, excuse me, Elon Musk has posted about it multiple times. Other members of the Tesla community. Um, rumors were this weekend, I believe it was, that version 14 has started rolling out to employees uh, for their testing. And so hopefully, you know, it's September right now. I'm going to guess that the end of October is when we're really going to start seeing it um, public. And so hopefully that's a, a big leap. He's said it before that this is as you know big of a leap as version 12 was um, going forward. So hopefully we're getting there at this point. Anyway, sorry, I was looking at a text, but yeah, so I'm saying end of October time frame, I think we're going to get it then. Um, and hopefully we're looking at a really good version of full self-driving, um, less nagging and things, right? Like I'm fumbling around trying to get my camera set up going mid-drive, um, you know, getting the pay attention, pay attention to the road type of um, messages popping up, obviously. Yeah, so but this little stretch right here is basically where we get traffic every day anyway because they are doing construction up ahead and about a mile on the road. Also had an accident, which is probably what's even causing more of it. So that's probably more of a telltale sign because I think we're going to get moving here. Because um, again, you got to pay attention. When you're not paying attention, you're slamming on your brakes and you're running into people that are in front of you. But if you have FSD, we saw it happen. It's able to hand it, handle it like a champ more than anything. So, but I'll probably uh, speed up the rest of the video from here. I'll take you all the way uh, to my neighborhood at this point, but I don't think I need to commentate anymore. So got you through the, the big piece of it. When it came to the, the heavy rain, we saw, you know, FSD have to basically lose, lose out there a little bit. And then some other issues that came up and it was able to handle that uh, going forward. But Enjoy the rest of the ride here. So a little montage or a little fast forward of um, the rest of my trip home. Um, if you like what you've seen, give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel as well. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you next time.